Hey finders and welcome back to another dysfunctional vlog. This is actually vlog number two, second vlog that will be uploaded on my channel. And speaking of vlogs, my first vlog I uploaded this morning. It is Sunday. My heart is racing. I can't really seem to catch my breath. I don't know why. Like I put myself out there all the time on my YouTube channel, but I'm just like so nervous about this vlog series because it's just unlike anything I've ever uploaded on my channel. I'm really scared to see how it goes. But yeah, we're just gonna go with it. It is now Sunday. I just spent the last four hours editing this vlog video on top of like the 15 probably hours that I've spent editing it prior to today. But now that it's up, I need to get on with my day. I'm gonna work out, I'm gonna get ready. All right, so I am showered, I worked out, and now I'm about to go get my nails done. But before I go, I want to prep my skin since I'm gonna be doing a tutorial later on tonight. I want my skin to be nice and smooth and you know, really nice and ready for makeup because honestly if you want a really nice makeup application it all starts off with your skincare routine which i've said so many times so i'm going to take my adorable scrunchies which i'm going to show you guys my scrunchies that i got from amazon a little bit later but this is one of them it's so like springtime it's so cute and i love scrunchies because i'm trying to grow my hair out my hair used to be really really long i don't know if you guys were following my channel back then but i used to have super long hair and then i chopped it all off so missing that and I really wanna have long hair for my wedding. So I'm trying to uh, use some scrunchies so my hair doesn't break, does less damage. I already cleansed, I exfoliated, and now I need to throw on some cream. So I'm gonna be taking my favorite face cream. This is the La Citane Precious Cream and it's, look how cute he is. It's like a little baby travel size one and I'm pretty much like done with this sample. And it's like so soft and like velvety on the skin. This cream is so, so nice. And I feel like not a lot of people use La Citane. A lot of the time when people ask me what I use on my face and I mention this company, they're like, what? Can you buy that at Sephora? And I'm like, no. They're like, oh, um, okay. Hmm. I wonder like why this is like peeling off of me though. Is this bad, this cream? Oh no, it's like peeling off of my face. It says that the shelf life is only six months. I don't think I've had this for six months. Well, this was a fail. I was trying to promote you, but then you went and literally flaked on me. It's so weird. It's like pilling off of my skin. And it has never pilled off my face like this. And I've been using this cream for like a very, very long time. If you frequent my channel, you've heard me talk about this cream in like all of my skincare videos. It's so weird. Maybe the sample expired. Oh my God, now it's like all over me. Okay, I guess we're moving on because that didn't work for us. I'm gonna take my Olay Age Defying. This is just the classic daily renewal cream. This stuff is so good. Like the best drugstore lotion I've ever used. It's not too thick, so it's nice to wear during the day, under makeup, belief moisturizing eye balm, love this stuff. This is my favorite eye cream to use before putting on makeup because it's thick enough where it's hydrating but it's not too slippy so it's not like your makeup's gonna shift and slide all over your face it's really gonna stay in place i just feel like it does a really nice job under my makeup definitely my favorite eye cream for under makeup okay now i'm just gonna do my lips real quick i exfoliated them using my wet and wild lip scrub that's in the bathroom right now but i'm just gonna use my eos chapstick i think this is in like sweet mint mike got me this i love it so much it's so nice now i'm ready to look at my nails done which i can't wait but i need to leave now because uh that pilling kind of messed up with my timing because i had to wipe it off with my face okay so i'm moisturized i'm all set i think we're gonna go for something a little bit more subtle than barbie pink but still i'm a big barbie pink nail advocate i feel like i get so many compliments when i wear it but i feel like it's one of those things where it's like people compliment you because it's so different and out there and they're like wow i would never do that but those are cool you know all right i gotta go i'll see you guys in a little bit i did a lot since the last time I saw you, I got my nails done. This took about an hour and a half. Why is it that every time I go and get my nails done, it feels like it takes 13 years? Anybody else? I'm at least there for an hour and a half. I got a fill in and I also got my toes done and they're the same as my fingers. So I've been really into like this really obnoxious pink vibe. I had my pink Barbie nails. Now I have upgraded pink Barbie nails in a uh, hot pink. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you guys a little bit of like behind the scenes of how I go about doing a YouTube video and also things that I do in the process of getting ready for a review video. This is just what I do and how I get into like the groove of creativity and creating content. So I think that first and foremost, it really starts with just having a routine. I think that's how I function with staying consistent in anything in life. So 
whether it be working out or creating YouTube videos, as long as I have a routine, I know what I'm doing, I know what I have to do, and like I don't have to think about it. Like the less you think about things, the more likely you are to do them. So for example, if you really wanna go out and you want to get fit and you wanna eat healthy and all that fun stuff, like every Sunday night or every Monday, sit down, grab a planner. I just have this really cute planner. I love this, I think I got it at Staples. And I'll just write down my schedule for the week. So Mondays, I always take spin. Tuesdays, I'll do legs. Wednesdays, I'll do arms. Like just write down what you're doing. So for instance, that's what I do when it comes to working out. And then when it comes to my YouTube channel, every Sunday, I have to film at least two videos. I have been uploading at least twice a week. Now I'm trying to make it three times a week. And it's just like having that schedule holds you accountable, really helps you not think about things. So the less you think about things, the less intimidating they are and the more you just roll with the flow. So if you are interested in maybe upping your Instagram game or creating a YouTube channel, or maybe, like I said, getting into fitness or whatever else you could possibly be interested in life. Just create a routine. It's gonna take a little while for you to get into it, but I promise you the less, again, you have to think about something, the more likely you are to do it. First and foremost for me, I'm a big writer. I have to write things, I have to see things, and I have to organize things. So I'm really big on like lists. So I'll make a list of all the different video ideas that I have and then I'll cross them off and then write the date that I uploaded them. Here we have five minute makeup series and then either, these are all the ideas of what I wanna do. So my go-to makeup, which I've already filmed this this morning actually. So this is gonna be my second video of the day. Vibrant shadow that's just blown out. So this is just one shade blown out and then no foundation, which I've gotten a lot of requests on this lately. I just wrote this down on Friday. I'm doing half face dupes. So I'm gonna do one side of my face that is drugstore, the other side of my face that is similar products but in high end and show you guys like where you can save your money and where it's worth splurging write down all of your thoughts and i also really rely on my notes in my phone say in the middle of the night if i wake up and i don't have a pen and paper near me i don't have this notebook i'll just jot down my ideas in my note section and then when i get to the office i will bring this with me and just write down whatever it is i wrote in the middle of the night these are like things that i want to buy and test out for my channel my favorite lipsticks which honestly i know them all by heart but it's just sometimes it's just good to write them down so this way when i sit down i really realize that i'm not forgetting anything so this is for First and foremost, what I do. Write it down, get organized. So that's just how I like to do things. I'm a little bit more old school. You can always download apps. You can always just work off of your phone. You can work off of your calendar. It's just all a preference. And I'm really, really big on having a planner every Saturday, regardless of what I'm doing on Saturday. I will wake up, I will have a cup of coffee, and I will sit down and I will jot down what it is I need to do during my entire weekend. My weekends are packed. Like I have a full-time job Monday through Friday and then Saturday and Sunday, it's really all about content creating, content planning, getting ready for the week, uploading videos. It's been a lot crazier. I want to say by the time this video goes up, I uploaded three last week for the first time. So I've been a little, little crazy. Murphy's law, things in motion, stay in motion. So for me, it's just like, if I just keep doing things and I just keep having a list and I keep wanting to check things off. Like I'm very list oriented. It's just like, I just keep going until it's done. So for me, like maybe you're sitting here and you're wondering like, oh, I have a full-time job. How does she go about doing this? So first and foremost, I have a full-time job myself. I work Monday through Friday. I live in New Jersey. I commute to New York city. So I take the bus to work. So that means I have an hour, sometimes an hour and a half, depending on how awful traffic is to sit down with my laptop and my headphones and edit all of my videos. So the majority of of my videos are edited while commuting to my full-time job. And you know, some mornings I wake up, I get on the bus and all I wanna do is sleep, but I have been so, so good and very adamant about always making sure I do one thing on the bus. So I have a lot of things going on. I'm trying to learn more about becoming an entrepreneur and really shaping my business and what I want my brand to be in the future. So I've been reading entrepreneurial books. I'm listening to podcasts. Boss Babe, the podcast is so good. I find it so inspirational. I really, really do enjoy it. They upload, I wanna say every Tuesday. I tell myself I have to do one productive thing. So for me, that means I'll listen to a podcast. I'll read one full magazine. This way, like I'm getting rid of the clutter at home. I can pull out some beauty looks from that magazine, find some inspiration, or maybe I wanna read a book I'm reading, um, How to Influence People and Make Friends. I'm pretty sure that's the name of it. I'll put it down below. But yeah, so I have to do one thing. Most of the days have been 
editing so that's really been my main focus lately but like i said just make a plan make a goal for yourself and if say i finish the magazine in a half an hour and then i have a half an hour or 45 minutes left on the bus then i check that off and i can go ahead and take a nap i'm gonna do my makeup really quick for my next video so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna throw some makeup on this video that will have already been up so i will link that up here so you guys can watch it afterwards it's going to be a decluttering of my bullet lipstick so let me show you guys this uh lipstick collection that i'm gonna go through so there's a decent amount in here i have yet to count them but i will have counted them for the video that's going live so again if you are interested be sure to check that out. I'm going to be swatching all of them, talking you through every single one of them, telling you why I'm keeping them, why I'm getting rid of them. You guys know it's a full review of my entire bullet lipstick collection. Okay. So for today's makeup, I have been testing out the Violet Boss, the HG fun size eyeshadow palette. This is what it looks like. Really pretty, like warm mauve tones. A lot of really nice shimmers, some cute mattes. I love this orange shade. Really, really nice for the crease. Some good crease shades. Every weekend when I'm not filming, I will try a different palette or foundation, whatever it is that I'm reviewing on my channel. I will go ahead and test it out behind the scenes, not on film, because you guys know when I do a review, I like to have a full list of the pros and cons. This way I can give it to you guys and it's not just like a first impressions, but I figured now since I'm vlogging, I can do first impressions on my vlog because it's not like a review video. So you guys can see my first impressions with things and then hear my final, final takeaway after I've used the product for quite a few times, which would be my review video. I used this yesterday for the first time. Mike and I went on a double date. We went out in Montclair and I wore this eyeshadow palette. This isn't my first impressions. This is like a day two. First impressions continued. I feel iffy about this palette though. Like I really do love the shimmers, but they kind of just like, I wore this palette for like, I want to say less than like five hours. And by the time I got home, the shimmers on my lids were totally, totally gone. So maybe hopefully we'll have a different reaction this time around because I'm going to do things a little bit differently this time. Tarte Maracuja Oil. I've talked about this so many times. You guys know I love this, especially when using stick foundation. I'm just going to put like a little bit on. And just rub this in the face. Last night, Mike and I went on this double date and the topic of being a vegan and a vegetarian came up. And you know, I feel like it's just a strange topic because I feel like, you know, once you label yourself a vegan or once you label yourself a vegetarian, like you can't like label yourself those things without being fully committed. I don't know. It was like a very, very interesting topic. And I say that like, you know, slaughterhouses are one of the biggest pollutants in the world. Like I think they're like top three. Are they number one? If not, maybe number two. So I think that like, say you're cutting back on your meat consumption and you typically eat meat like four times a week and you cut it down to one time a week. Like you're really helping out the environment. So what does it matter? Like, I just feel like people are so like, this is such a culture of like labels, but it's like, why do we need to label ourselves? Like, no, I'm not a vegetarian. I eat fish and sometimes I eat turkey. But honestly, the average week for me, like I don't eat meat at all. So like when people ask me if I'm a vegetarian, I don't label myself a vegetarian. Why does it matter? Like, why do we need to be all or nothing? It's like really frustrating. I just think that like whatever you can do to minimize your carbon footprint, no matter how big or small it is, like that's just like the way to go, like save the planet. You know, I feel like as humans, we have the responsibility to really take care of our planet and really make sure that we're here to preserve not only like our own lives and like our children's lives and like our great grandchildren's lives, but like, the lives of all the animals and like just the planet in general. Like if the planet's not here, hello people, we won't be here. Not only do I hate that like you can't be half of something because then people just make fun of you, but then I also hate the kind of people that like, well, hate is a really strong word, so I shouldn't say that, but I also greatly dislike it when people are like, oh, you don't eat meat? Like that's ridiculous. Why would you do that? Like just mind your own business, everyone. Like everyone should just stay in their own lane. Anybody else feel me on this? I don't eat chicken. I haven't had chicken since June of 2018. So it's almost been a year that I've given up chicken. And that's because Mike and I went to California for his birthday and we went to Sunset Ranch. 
So you like basically take these horses and you ride up to like the Hollywood Hills sign. Oh my God, it was like a magical experience. But while we were waiting to like board our horses or whatever you wanna say, they had like a farm there and they had all these like adorable chickens. So cute and they were so friendly and I like hung out with them and I played with them. And honestly, like ever since playing with the little, I refer to them as little bok box, I can't eat chicken. Like it's just like the smell of it. Like, and I thought it would be a very short phase kind of thing. Like I thought like I would get over it in like a month or two, but I went like four months strong without eating chicken. And then I tried to eat like a chicken soup and I just like couldn't do it. Like the taste was like revolting to me. So yeah, that's how I gave up chicken. Do I judge others who eat chicken? No. I mean, it would be really nice if we could all like not eat animals and we could like help to save the planet and like sustain our ozone layer, but also the animals that are living on our planet. But like, you know, take things in strides and don't judge other people for their life decisions is really what I'm getting at here. My Ardell Glam Touring Highlight and Contour Stick. I really love this stuff. I wish that they just had a contour stick this size. I'm just gonna contour like a little bit because I do wanna take Instagram pictures. I just, I have to say, I'm like not inspired now that the whole Instagram algorithm is totally off. And also another thing that really frustrates me is the fact that the whole like buying Instagram likes and stuff, like I just, it's really frustrating and it's really annoying. Like I've never purchased likes, I've never purchased followers and like I don't have a big Instagram following. I have like 1200 followers I wanna say on Instagram, but it's just like so discouraging. So I just, I can't really get into Instagram. I feel like for me, it's like I'm a makeup channel and I wanna like promote makeup, but like how many selfies do people really wanna see? Like I'm really interested. Like does that not get annoying if you just like follow this one person and literally all their feed is just selfies? Like, I mean, I don't mind it. Like I like selfies because I like seeing like everyone's makeup and like skin and like, you know, that's just like, a me thing. I get no likes anymore and like nobody sees any of my stuff. I've been listening to a lot of podcasts on uh, Instagram and like the algorithm and how to like not beat the algorithm but kind of beat it. Like how to beat it in like a non-cheating kind of way. So like using Instagram stories and like being more involved in the app and like using all the new stuff that they roll out because I feel like Instagram like tracks that and sees that like this chick or this guy is like using the new thing that we rolled out. So maybe we'll promote them a little bit more, you know? I don't know. I need to like get in it because I'm just like, my heart's not in it right now. And I feel like I'm missing out. Like I don't want to just invest all of my time on YouTube. Like YouTube is definitely my favorite and YouTube is definitely my baby. And like, honestly, it's where I invest most of my time, but I need to be like expanded across the social media channels, you know? Mike and I had our engagement party. I know I mentioned that in my last vlog and I was like, oh, I don't wanna talk about it. Well, it came and it went super quick and I didn't really talk to you guys about it like at all. I didn't vlog it. I didn't put it on my Instagram stories. I just felt like that was such a stressful day because really it, it was an engagement party, but it was really like, for our families to meet. So I just felt like high anxiety, but it went really, really well. I feel like everyone got along really, really well, freakishly well. Um, I mean, having like 10 little kids there, ages five and under is always great. Great distractions. Everybody just pays attention to the kids. So, you know, people could be crazy and fighting in one room, but you would never know because you're with all the cute kitties. Also, like who else's eyebrows are totally not the same shape? Like the arch on the one is so different than the other one. It's like really frustrating. All right, I'm gonna use an eyeshadow primer because yesterday I primed my eyes with concealer. And like I said, that shadow just like couldn't have run away from my eyes any faster than it did. Like crusty looking. I'm gonna keep it real simple. I'm gonna go in with this crease shade. But yeah, so the engagement party went really, really well. Now I need to like plan our wedding a little bit more. We have the venue, but like we have nothing else. I need to find a priest to marry us. I need to find a DJ, uh, flowers. Uh, we need to make save the dates. I don't know, when does one send out a save the date? If you have any idea, leave it below in the comments. We're getting married next June, June 20th of 2020. And Mike thinks we should send out the save the dates this June, so like June 2019, but I'm just not like sure how that works. Is that like too long? Like do people save the save the dates like a year in advance? I'm not quite sure. So if I have any brides out there, let me know. i take that pretty orange shade just cause like I have to, and I'm just gonna throw that a little lower in the grease. Do any of you guys use Violet Voss? 
I, this is the first palette or product I should say of hers that I've ever used and I do like it I'm just curious if you guys use any of I say her like I know I'm just assuming it's a her I have no idea is it even a girl it might just be a group of people I don't know oh Brogan's crying he wants to come in this is the shade I wore last night and it came right off my eyes so I want to see if it's gonna do it again come on just stay for me so I don't have to say bad things about you and that's another thing people on my channel really don't like it when I say negative things about things but it's like I'm sorry I'm a review channel like if I don't like something I'm gonna say I don't like it and then people will make the comment like oh you know if you don't like something you just shouldn't even mention it you shouldn't even upload the video but it's like I always try to find the good in everything it's not like I'm just like this sucks you shouldn't use it I also feel like everyone's different I used to be like the biggest Tati Westbrook fan I just used to watch her videos all the time and now I don't have as much time to watch them to be honest like I don't agree with her on a lot of the things that she says about certain products like she was talking about the pharmacy cleansing balm that takes off your makeup and how she didn't like it and how it leaves a film on her skin I love that stuff and there was no film ever left on my skin so when she reviewed it I was kind of just like what like Tati, what are you talking about? But I just feel like makeup and beauty and like skincare, you can watch as many videos as you want. And I think watching videos really gives you like a better idea as to whether or not you're gonna like the product, but you don't really fully know until you try it yourself. It goes to show you that everyone is very different. And if I don't like something on my channel, like I'm sorry, don't watch it. Just click out. You don't have to watch the whole thing. It's really okay. But like, honestly, I'm gonna keep doing me. And if I don't like something, I'm gonna say I don't like it because that's the point of my channel. And this is my finished makeup look. I am about to film my lipstick declutter video, but I just wanted to show you guys the finished makeup look. I ran downstairs. Mike was like, oh, I really like your eyeshadow. Thanks, but let's see how long it lasts. And then for lips today, just so you guys know, I'm wearing a combo. I'm wearing the Alme Lip Vibes in Worry Less. And I'm also wearing one of my favorite all-time affordable lipsticks, which is the Flower Beauty Naked Blush Matte Lipstick. The most comfortable matte lipstick you will ever wear. It really, really reminds me of NARS. Like my NARS Anita right here feels just like this one so super high end but literally a quarter of the price it's sunday i'm very tired and i need to get ready for the work week so fingers crossed that this filming goes by quickly so i just filmed my declutter video but uh i didn't get rid of a lot <laughs> but i don't want to give it away because you guys should really watch the video it's a lip swatch video they're really really funny i always have a great time doing them they're like so dysfunctional but so highly entertaining at least for me but yeah, it's like 10 o'clock at night. It's Sunday. I need to get my stuff together. I'm going to spin tomorrow, so I need to pack before I go to work. I'm really tired, so I think this is where I'm going to leave you guys. But I hope that you guys enjoyed my second vlog. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. Leave me some love in the comments. Let me know, did you like this vlog? Any questions that you had about any of the topics that we discussed, or if you just want to leave a comment, whatever it is, leave it down there. I love to hear and talk to you guys. Also, be sure to subscribe. I would love to have you, but yeah. I had a great time. I hope that you guys are having a great weekend and I will see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mwah.